Well, it's game time, folks. The gobbler is coming, and so is the shot. If you've picked a good setup, you're about to close the deal. Now, what's a good setup? Well, it varies. If you're hunting in the open, say in the woods or on the edge of the field, where you've seen turkeys moving in, uh, your back should be resting against a broad trunk tree, seated position, or some other stationary support. This allows you to make a good killing shot. Your shotgun, resting comfortably on your knee or leaning there, should be positioned to easily shoulder it and kill the bird facing the direction the turkey is coming. Don't be caught off guard. Be halfway there. You get only a few seconds to mount that gun when the turkey is moving into range, sometimes even less. Um, so you want to be in position to kill that bird facing the direction of that gobbler. If you're in a blind, of course, uh, and seated comfortably, there's more room for movement, but still, you need to be in a, a comfortable position with your firearm or archery tackle ready. Now you want to point your shotgun or be ready with your bow as the gobbler comes in. You want to point it in the direction of the gobble. Or spitting and drumming, or footsteps in the leaves, but be careful here. Always make certain to identify your target before shooting. Always. Know what your gun or archery tackle will do before the moment of truth. Now, setups aren't always ideal. In fact, in turkey hunting, it's almost a given that they may be less than ideal. You may have to twist and turn as the gobbler moves past you or comes in from the side or from behind. Always try to reset for the best shooting position with your gun facing in the direction of the gobble or the gobbler as it moves. Flow with the turkey as it moves far off, and by flowing we mean moving the gun with the bird, or as you catch glimpses of it coming through the woods or field. Now, on such occasions, try not to move too much. By no means should you be lifting your binoculars to look at the bird at that point. If you can see the bird, that bird can probably see you or detect movement. So, hesitate to do that. When you're glassing turkeys in fields, that's a different thing. When the bird's coming in, you want to hold tight, concentrate on the shot. Now you may have set decoys inside killing range. That's good. With luck, the turkeys will come in and be focused on those fakes, including the gobbler you want. They might move right in there. If not, if no decoys, no worries. The birds can pick out the exact location of your calling, especially if you've been talking uh, back and forth with or without fakes. So be ready, especially if that bird comes in again from behind or from the side, as they often do, and sometimes silently. Now it's important to read the gobbler's body language, including the turkeys that it's with. Watch the turkeys around it, but mostly concentrate on the bird you want. Your focus should be there while also paying a little bit of attention to the, to the turkeys on the periphery. Now this can vary in different regions of the country, uh, obviously. Is the gobbler following his hens or hunting down your position if alone and with other male birds? Good. As your bird crosses into killing range, focus. Move only when its head is hidden as it moves past a big tree or struts turning away with that big fan turned toward you, obscuring its view of your position. Now, the decision to kill a bird at the moment of truth comes in a split second sometimes. If he's made the old wing flick and turn, your opportunity might be walking away. If he, he's dropped strut and starting to move, you got to make your decision then. Shoot him in the back of the head. Miss the chance and the turkey might leave. Aim your shotgun at the gobbler's lower neck for the best killing pattern, ideally when his head is lifted and looking as he stops. Cluck to get that red, white, and blue head to periscope up and then kill him.